Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe. In this video, I am going to show you how to pull in uh, data from the web into your Excel spreadsheet or into Google Sheets. Uh, this isn't web scraping or uh, even using an API to get the data. This is more just the basic way of, of getting in data from the web, which some many times is enough, um, but it's not always the case. But for this video, we're just going to show the basics. So, but before we get into the video, let me just uh, bring up... Uh, my spreadsheet school, uh, I have a, a course, a video course out there to teach people how to use spreadsheets to improve their daily fantasy. Uh, there's about eight or 10 hours of videos in it. And if you want to check it out, it's at spreadsheetschooldfs.com. And the link is down below this video. And also my lineup optimizer tool um, that's for spreadsheets is at optimizelineups.com. And you can check both those uh, links out down below. So let's get right into the video. And as you can see here, I'm on basketballreference.com uh, and I'm going to pull I want to pull the, the stats from the, yesterday's games so I found the uh, page and here's the page this link will also be down below and this page changes every day because um, today's uh, January 28th so it has lit yesterday's games but uh, as the day as the, the next day this will update to the new one so that's why this is a good source if you want to pull in yesterday's stats so in order to do this, we're gonna first we gotta copy the URL. So we're gonna highlight it and press Control C to copy. Now I'm gonna to go to my spreadsheet and we'll go to data and then from web. And I'm gonna press Control V to paste it. And now it's going onto this the website and it's gonna check it out. Not all websites allow you to do this. It's good to to try. But a lot of websites have programming in them, which keep you from being able to, to pull it easily. And that's where you need to get into scraping or APIs. Um, but that's not for this video. But anyway, so here is the data. You're going to click on the table and you're going to see the preview until you find what you want. So if there's the 260 player table. It's got all our stats that we want. So this looks like everything that we need. Uh, if we want to transform the data by like not including certain um aspects of it we can click transform and change it but we're not going to do that in this video i'm just going to make this just nice and simple on how to pull it in and we're just going to click load and now it's going to go in and pull the information and there we go it hot formats it as a table and it has all the information on here that you wanted to pull right up to here and now what you can do once you pull this information, you can create extra formulas or pull this data into another table or whatever you need. But this is a easy way to pull web information onto your spreadsheet. Now, if you ever want to update this, you're going to go up to data, refresh all. You're going to press this. And what it's going to do, it's going to go through and just refresh. Or you, or you can go down to just refresh. You're going to just refresh the one page. You can see down here it said running background query. And it's up, it updated it. So that's a quick and easy way to pull in some web data into your spreadsheet. Now let's go and check out my uh, Google Sheet that I have open here. We can, If you want to do this in a, into Google, you can also do this into your Google Sheet very easily. Um, but in this case, it's just uh, you have to write, write a formula instead of going up to here and going to the different buttons. So to do that, we're going to... Go into cell A1, that's where I want the data to start. I'm going to type in import HTML. So that's going to pull it in. So we're going to put parentheses, quote, <clears throat> and then I'm going to press Control V to paste it in. So now I paste it in the uh, URL, this is what we want, comma, and then it's a table. So we want to pull in the table, quote, comma, and then here you have to put the table number. Sometimes it's it's a little back and forth work. Sometimes you might try table one, and it's not always table one. You might have to try table two, table three. What we do, you just fill it in and press enter. It's going to say loading, and it's going to see if it'll pull it up. And it, I guess I guessed right. I guess it was the only table on the page. So it pulled in table one. So then I can highlight this and double click, and then it'll just format the, the columns Uh, on this way in order to get the information and, and see this is the exact same information that you have on the other one 
And if you want to refresh this, all you have to do is go into your settings. You're going to go to File, Spreadsheet Settings, and then Calculations. And then you can recalculate. You can put on change or and every hour. So you can press OK. And so this every hour, this is going to update. You can press Save Settings. You can change it to every minute if you wanted to. And then you save the settings. So now every hour, the sp spreadsheet is going to go onto the web, check the website. And if, if it's new, it's going to pull in the new information. So this is just a pretty uh, simple example of how to pull in web data. You can do this for multiple sheets on, on your tab if you have different uh, sources of information. But again, not all pieces of information can be pulled in. Some some of the web, web pages can't the way they're built. So that's where you have to get into more advanced features, which will be in other videos. But I hope this helps you um, pull in some basic uh, data for your daily fantasy. And again, check out my spreadsheet school at uh, spreadsheetschooldfs.com. Uh, and <clears throat> there's a, I'll actually put a, a coupon code down below in this video if you want for 15% off to, uh, if you want to check that out. And uh, my lineup optimizer at optimizelineups.com, which is uh, just a one-time fee. And they're all the, all the optimizers are in, in spreadsheets. So that's it for the video. You guys have a great day and good luck. Thanks.